Now to that fatal shooting we told you about involving a Wallingford woman. Police say the man who pulled the trigger was the woman's boyfriend. He later shot himself in his Hamden home. News 8's Noel Gardner is live in Hamden, where police say they found the man dead in his home. Noel? Aaron, residents tell me that standoff lasted for hours. Now the suspect made his way overnight to Wallingford. Police say he allegedly shot his girlfriend there and then came back to where he lived in Hamden to his second floor apartment. Now this all happened early in the morning hours. Wallingford police receiving a call around 1.30 in the morning. That person had been shot on Heritage Woods. When officers arrived, they found Leanne Berger Metzel with a gunshot wound to the upper torso. Now, according to police, her boyfriend knocked on the door, fired multiple rounds, one bullet striking Metzel. She was rushed to the hospital and police tracking the alleged shooter to First Street in Hamden. A perimeter was set up and the SWAT team moved in to a two-story family home. Now, the family on the first floor had to evacuate. Come on, come on, everybody. Go outside because because on the second floor is boom, 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 a couple of minutes. And uh, we, when we was there, we hear only one shot. And the police say, they said he killed everybody. And police finding that suspect dead inside the two-story home with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Uh, we have no name, no ID on that suspect just yet. And meanwhile, his girlfriend is still in the hospital. We're live tonight in Hamden. Noel Gardner, News 8.